when someone close to you, a family member, a partner, a friend has done something to hurt you or hurt those around you, it's natural to want to call them out on this, to hold them accountable, to get some form of closure, to know that what you knew was right, to try and talk about it with them, to try and get them to see sense, to try and get them to change. There's there's so many ways we try to speak to a narcissist to point out our perceived error of their ways. And there's so many reasons as to why we do this from having a feeling they're cheating on us and finding out that they're cheating or having a feeling they're lying to us and finding out they're lying and going up and say, see, I knew it. Only that doesn't work with an narcissist. They, they gaslight you. They exploit you some more. They like the empathy to care about you. They're just interested in getting away with their behaviour or to try and protect them, we might call them out and say, hey, you know, if you keep this up, you're going to end up in a bit of trouble. Perhaps you ought to stop that. But they're preoccupied with themselves and arrogant enough to believe that they're right and there's nothing wrong with their behaviour. There's something wrong with your perception of their behaviour and they'll carry on exploiting people to get away with their behaviour. So there's plenty of reasons why we can want to call a narcissistic person out, plenty of motives behind it. Some are in the interest of the narcissist and some are in the interest of ourselves, of protecting ourselves, of creating boundaries. Whatever the reason behind it, it doesn't work with a narcissist. They lack the empathy to care. They lack the self-awareness to recognise how their behaviour affects you or those around you or even how their behaviour affects themselves. They just go all out to blame and shame other people and play the victim in order to gain that sympathetic attention. And as they're gaining that attention, this validates that after all, they're not the problem, you're the problem. So calling them out doesn't work. They're very self-obsessed, they're very self-entitled. They're arrogant enough to believe they're always right. So when you confront them, you're kind of opening up your vulnerabilities to them, which they're going to then attack within you so that you walk away from the conversation feeling more confused, feeling more stressed, feeling more depressed than when you entered the conversation with them. So what can you do instead of calling a narcissistic person out? First is learning the games, learning the rules of the games, learning by learning their behaviour so that you can recognise their behaviour and recognise it's got absolutely nothing to do with who you are as a person and speaks volumes about who they are as a person because they're very self-centred. Try and call them out, they're going to project onto you and accuse you, they're going to give you those insincere apologies to get away with their behaviour when in reality their insecurities are what's causing them to gaslight you to protect themselves. Don't personalise their behaviour. They're going to make it incredibly personal so that they can gain a reaction from you, so they can blame everything on you, so that they can accuse your emotional reaction of being the problem to distract you from their actions. Don't take it personally. Step away. Leave them to do their own damage. It will catch up with them in due course. Step away. There might be things where you need to go and speak to the authorities. Other than that, step away. Because if a narcissist believes that you could potentially expose them, some might up and leave you alone. Others are going to look to punish you in some way. Set so boundaries clear, consistent boundaries. Once you've said no to them, never change your mind because they then learn what manipulation tactic got you to change your mind. The best boundary that you can create with a narcissist is distance, is no contact or limited contact. That is the by far the best boundary you can create with a narcissistic person because they don't understand the word no they just see this as game 
on as a challenge to get their needs met by you. So where your home might have a boundary line, if you've got respectable neighbours, you might not have anything up. You might have a thing where if your child throws something over a fence, you're allowed to go and fetch it and they're allowed to come on your property. It's between two people of what works. Everybody has different boundaries. With a narcissist, you need a brick wall that they cannot get over because if they can get over it, they're going to attack you any way they can and they have no respect for your privacy. They have no respect for how you would like to be treated. They will happily walk into your garden. You are not allowed to enter theirs. So with a narcissist, the best boundary is a more block them on everything. No contact. Stay calm. Narcissistic people go all out to provoke that reaction from you so that they can blame you. If you, if they recognise that they're losing control over you, if you're no longer playing their games, they can double down on their behaviour in order to get that reaction from you, in order to provoke some form of feeling within you that they can use against you so that they can play the victim. They might just simply cause intrigue within you. So it looks like you're becoming obsessed with them and they can say that you're the obsessed one when they're just causing that injury, they might provoke jealousy within you so that they can say you're the jealous and bitter one when they're provoking that within you to gain that reaction from you. So stay calm. Don't take the bait. Leave them to it. Recognise the game, the game recognise the behaviour. Don't take it personally. Stay calm. Leave them to it. Do not let them get under your skin. That is what they're after. Do not engage in the argument. You do not have to take part in every argument you are invited to. And you don't want to be arguing with a narcissist because they're not in it to see your point of view. They're not in it to agree, to disagree. They're not in it to learn, to gain, to grow. They're win in it to win it and win it at all costs to you. Narcissistic people love to argue and blame you for causing the argument. So don't engage in the argument. Leave them to it. Find support because narcissistic people are some of the most dangerous and draining people you could ever have the misfortune of having to deal with. So find supportive, uplifting people. Find things that relax you, that you enjoy, whether that is exercise, whether that is meditation, yoga, painting, reading, learning a new skill, listening to music, whatever it is that supports your well-being, that supports your mental health. There's plenty of things in the world to take our mental health down. We need to find as many things as possible that will lift us back up. Exercise can be a pain in the neck. However, the endorphins that it releases can help. So it's finding the exercise that works for you. If, if you go on a long run and you have to talk yourself into going, yet when you come back, you feel much better, keep talking yourself into going. If you have to talk yourself into going, go around, hate every second, come home, hate every second, get injured, find something else, swimming, basketball, football, hockey, tennis, walks, long walks, find what it is where afterwards you feel better. And then whenever you're finding it difficult to do it, remind me, remind yourself that you feel better for doing it and you feel worse if you don't. Lots of self-care and let them go. We find it very difficult to let people go, usually because we care about them. However, you, ha you have to let them go let them be who they want to be. You you can't change them. You can't help them. They'll lead you into believing that you can help them. They'll promise to go to counselling. They'll promise to change. They'll lead you into believing that you can help them because you want to help them. You want to support them. You care about them. Only once they've got you where they want you, they'll drop you again. Let them go. Let them show themselves for who they are and then let them go. You cannot change them. You can change direction away from them 
in order to protect yourself. If anyone has any thoughts on this video or anything that helped them instead of calling a narcissistic person out, please do add those into, into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for the help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have a couple of books out on Amazon. A Narcissist Handbook, which is a self-help guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you cannot go no contact. The links for those will be in the description also. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.